So when it comes to researching China, which AI tool is better? America's ChatGPT or China's DeepSeek? Well, to test them both, I asked them a question from my field of work about nature conservation and national parks in China. Let's see what they say. ChatGPT does really well. It gives a nice historic overview and rounds it out with a forward focused summary. In these 200 words, it says more about China's modern day conservation movement than most Americans who study Chinese probably know. This is a big improvement compared to a few years ago when it didn't even know about China's new national parks. And if you want an even better answer, you can activate ChatGPT's size space, which is a custom for even more well-researched and thorough answers. DeepSeek, on the other hand, can't do it until you turn on its web search button. Then its overview is similar, and I like the automatic inclusion of sources after each claim. But it gets some things wrong, like overstating the importance of Jiangjiajie or the benefit of the Jiananda National Park for increasing wild panda numbers. This is not as certain as it claims. It's also odd that it only relies on English sources when one would think it would automatically include more up-to-date Chinese ones as well. What's interesting though is that I often find the Chinese version of DeepSeek on Baidu, China's search platform, much, much better. Here's what the answer is when asked in English. I love the formatting of this answer and how each fact includes one clickable link to a Chinese source but it lacks the depth of ChatGPT when it comes to mentioning the challenges China faced and faces. Fragmented management and community integration, for example. But if you drill down on it and continue asking questions about current events, it can usually provide more accurate and up-to-date information than ChatGPT. Like if you ask it how to travel to Sanjiangye National Park, for example, Baidu's DeepSeek is much, much better. So when doing research on China, if I'm going to use AI as a springboard to brainstorm or get a broad overview, I always use a mix of both platforms, though I usually avoid DeepSeek's English site. And of course, I always do research after to make sure that each platform's claims are true. And trust me, that's really necessary.